Hello everyone, Halloween is soon coming and so I thought I'd do a few tutorials on things that you might want to be for Halloween. And I got a request from someone to do Snow White, therefore my hair is all bobbed up. I'm wearing something that, I don't know, kind of like her colors. And then in true Jen fashion, I didn't want to just do a bow, I had to do something huge. So, I've already started with my base. I am wearing Revlon Color Stay in medium beige, and then I used HD Makeup Forever. So the Makeup Forever HD powder all over. And now I'm going to be using our Urban Decay Primer Potion on my lid. Then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and putting that up on my brow bone. Bring you in a little bit closer here so you can see what I'm doing. And then Yayo is from Urban Decay. It's this white matte eyeshadow. And I'm taking Maxine's Mop, the half inch, it's a bigger one, and going over to set that NYX. It tends to travel if you don't set it with a powder. Now instead of using the NYX Jumbo Pencil to line my inner waterline, I'm going to take my MAC Pencil in Fascinating because this tends to stay a little bit better. And because her eyes were so big and dull and doughish, we are going to go inside the waterline on the bottom and do white. To open up that eye a little bit. You can be messy, it's okay, because we're going to be going over that with another pencil. Okay, and now I am going to be taking a gray. The gray that I'm going to be using, let's see, probably do this one. It kind of has a bluish tint to it. Um, this was number 16 on the Kohl's makeup, so anything kind of matte gray. I'm going to use that same Maxine's Mop. I'm going to sweep this on my lid. Now we've pop, put a lot of cool colors onto our lid, so we need to warm it up a little bit. I'm going to take a fluffier brush. I'm going to take my E25 from Sigma. From my Naked palette, I'm going to be taking Buck, which is this warm brown right there. Just dotting my E25 in there. And I'm going to be going in the crease, but trying to make a U, an upside down U type shape. Now with my black pencil from MAC, which is um, Smolder, it's a coal pencil, I'm going to be lining underneath my eye. See how that opens up your eyes so much more? And then doing the top. And I'm going to definitely have the thickest part be the top right here to create, again, that doll eye. And I'm going to extend it just a little bit outward like that, okay? Just to give it a little flick. But make the thickest part that part right up there. We'll even do it a little bit thicker. Let's dramatize it a little bit more. As soon as you're done doing the liner on the top and the bottom, do one quick coat of mascara and then we'll let that dry. And don't forget the bottom. Okay, and while we let that dry, we are going to do <clears throat> our eyebrows. 
and she also had those very curved eyebrows. So looking at my picture here, I am going to go up over my natural brows and come down. kind of in that 1920s flapper look, which is basically about when she came out. So we'll do that. And I'm not taking the time to glue stick my brows and hide them and everything. So maybe I should be using black. I wonder if that would aid in you guys seeing it a little bit better. Um, let me do that. Okay, so there are her brows, very rounded. It's so funny to me this, that this was such a look in the 1920s to do your eyebrows like this. I wonder if I should even go over my natural brows with a little bit of white just to hide them a little bit more. Obviously you guys will still see them and I can show you the glue stick trick later on how to completely cover up your brows. Um, 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 um. I'm gonna use that yayo -yo again. Now we are going to put on her lashes. And these ones I don't know the number, but um, they're just super, super long. And basically straight across the board, like the same length. So our eyelashes, or our mascara, excuse me, has dried. So go ahead and put on your lashes, and we'll be right back with that. Our eyelashes are done. Because I put my eyebrows so high up, I am going to take that E25 again in that same color of brown and just bring that brown up a little bit more, just so you can see it. Again, keeping that same shape. Perfect. Now we are going to do our cheeks and I'm going to take from my Coastal Scents palette right here, the brightest pink possible. She had very pink cheeks. And we want to make ours just as bright. And this is costume makeup, so we want to make it very, very visible. Right on those apples and bringing it back. Now we're looking more like the Snow White that we want to look like. And just pull it all the way back to your temples. what would Snow White be without those red lips? I'm going to take a red lip pencil that I have had for like 10 years, ladies. Lumine. I got it in Russia. Oh my goodness, it's been lasting me forever. Now let's see her lips. I can probably just do my natural lip line. You know I'm going to go a little bit more above. Then I'm going to take my lip palette and use Russian Red from MAC, which is just a glorious, true little undertone of blue red. And put that on top to make it more rich. And there we are, there is our snow white look. The only thing that I want to do is add a touch of gloss. 
right there and right there. To give it some sparkle and shine. <laughs> so here is Snow White. This is what you would look like if you were going to be here for Halloween. And yeah, I swore to myself I wasn't going to use that voice because everybody seems to in their tutorials, but it just kind of comes out when you look like this. So anyway, um, what are you going to be for Halloween? I'm going to be Mary Poppins. My husband's going to be Bert. It's going to be cool. Tried to convince the boys to be little chimney sweeps, but alas, superheroes won out. But anyway, hope that you guys liked it and that you can do this for Halloween. It's fun and you can even flip up your collar even more and have it be fabulous. Probably have to starch it a little bit to make it stay, but there you are. I hope you like it and I hope you'll do it for Halloween. And if you do, send me some pictures. Bye-bye.